These videos are brought to you by G66UK, the place in the UK to grab an FM9, FM3 or Axefex3. There's a short wait list on the FM9 at the moment, um, but that's going to be cleared relatively soon. Uh, I today wanted to cover actually uh, what I think is a really cool preset as I was kind of just looking through some of the factory presets and I happened across this one called Spandex and Spandex Spandex and Hairspray which here 315 this is a really cool one um, the, the stock preset sounds like this it's got a bunch of scenes but this is the first thing that I heard from it <laughs> Um, so I wanted to kind of turn that into something else really cool. And another cool thing that I found actually was polychromatic shifter. I think that was what it was. So I might stick this into my block library as well. Uh, how do I do that? Save, polychromatic shifter, save only current channel. Because so I think that's a really cool sound as well. Uh, so anyway, let's just jump into this. Spanax and hairspray, um, at some point we'll be able to get that right. Now, what I wanted to do was add in a clean because that other didn't have a clean. So I replaced some of the scenes. Yeah, so now what we've got is actually a clean long delay. Just save that. And uh, a clean with a shorter delay. And the amp that I'm using here is the Jazz 120, the Jazz Chorus, uh, with the gain at about 2.46, the bass at 5, mid at 5, treble at 5, the bright switch on, and the level at minus 7. And I just used the cab that they were already using to give it some continuity through the preset. Um, and what I also did was add in the Dimension 3 chorus. So we're kind of stacking choruses here, as I heard Rob Harris from Dramiroquai talking about this. So that's kind of the, the signal path for the clean, right? Nothing crazy complicated. We've got the enhancer here. Uh, we've got a delay, which is 2 to 90 with modulation. Uh, then going into a stereo tri chorus, which is, yeah, basically your, your ubiquitous kind of 80s delay. Into a medium room. I might add some extra stuff. A studio compressor at the end pretty much of the chain. And then the boss dimension three, which again, I think uh, a rack boss dimension would have been what folks were using back then as well. So then 80s revisited, this is the kind of factory st standard thing. Tube Screamer 808 going into big hair. So I'm not, not tried this one before so this is new to me uh, into 578 4x12 Brit TV with a 121 into a parametric EQ you can see what this is doing is a lot of high end roll off the PE as opposed to in the cab for whatever reason um, so no high cut in the cab but a high cut essentially here and 
And without that... You can basically hear that it's kind of, you know, rolling off at quite a bit of top end, as you can see at around five kilohertz. Okay, and then we've got the enhance there. I think, according to the manual, the enhance should really be after the delays and stuff, um, but it is here for now. Then we've got a pitch, which is doing the dual detune thing. Um, so minus six cents, the detune one, and plus six, detune two. And a mix at about 28%. Uh, then the 2290 is on for this part and then the compressor is on for this part. So that's 80s revisited with that big hair. Then scene two. Still the big hair, still the same cab. Turns off the PEQ, I think. Enhance block is still on, pitch detune is still on, an extra bit of delay, and same reverb, same compressor. Uh, so what is actually changing there? I think maybe we've just got a little bit of a boost and the PEQ turns off. So between scene two, turn things down a little bit there um, okay and then girthy rhythm which is a new uh, country artist uh, right we're using the triaxis for this So that's pretty cool. Uh, the chorus is staying on for that. I might get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. That's the chorus. No, that is, that's right. That's what they wanted. Yeah, so leave that chorus on. That was stock. I added this uh, dimension over here is obviously changing there uh, okay then nwo bhm i've got no idea what that might stand for. and then we're using a brit super for that What I might also do, so I've got this clean long delay. Uh, is add in as well, scene eight here. I was enjoying the sound of that triaxis. So uh, this one will basically be pretty much everything on except for the choruses call that triaxis lead and if we put this to b We could also add in, if we wanted to, just save that, 
uh, like a bit of a circular kind of reverb. So this might be my clean ambient, maybe like here, just an extra bit of stuff in parallel in our multi-tap delay. One of our circular delays. So that kind of thing could work really nice, or PCM circular. PCM pan. One of these kind of classic Alan Holdsworth things. But yeah, the circular delay in general, I think could work nicely. And then bypass mode, mute in is what I think we'd want. And then if I basically save that, and then in each other scene, I want the multi-delay. Bypass, 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 bypass. So that could cover a fair range, I think, of tones. I think one of my favorite factory presets that I just happened across and I thought that's definitely a pretty cool thing. So um, yeah, give that a try. I'll drop this into my Gumroad folder. If you're interested in adding on the cleans, then check that out. Um, but Just an 80s absolute machine this unit so um if you're looking for these kind of tones you know this <laughs> you know without having to actually have a rack full of effects can get us all of that sort of vibe and uh i think it's lovely i'll catch you in another video soon thanks to g66 and see you in another video cheers